What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to a brand new episode of the Blade Podcast, the podcast about film production, video production, post production, and marketing. I am your host, Louis Lemayendi, and I like to make this podcast because I like to share info, I like to talk about the industry and all things film, TV, and marketing. Okay, so I'm excited for today's episode. Uh, in today's episode, we're gonna be talking about film distribution, basically. We may talk about specifically what SA film producers need to know about distributing your film at cinemas. So um, I am an independent film producer and I've been doing research on what it takes to distribute your film at cinemas. Maybe you're interested one day you have a dream of distributing a film at cinemas and maybe you should keep watching because I might share some nice gems that can help you get, get your dream out there. Okay. I was doing a lot of research and uh, I was doing a pitch for a film project and I was doing quotes for everything and reading about film distribution, working with distributors and all that stuff. And I learned a few things and I thought I'd share, you know, maybe it'll help you, maybe it won't help you. Okay, so the first thing that I think producers need to know about uh, delivering a film at cinemas is that you need to deliver a uh, a specific file for cinemas. This is called a DCP, a digital digital cinema package. So basically what a DCP is, is just a specific file format of your film. So what's great about a DCP is that, um, you know, it's very hard to, even if someone steals a hard drive with a DCP, they can't play your film because a DCP, whenever they give into a cinema, they're giving the hard drive and the passcode on the file. So no one can just play it and you can't just play it anywhere. Plus it's also made to be played at cinemas. And when the film is distributed, each cinema has their own passcode. Sometimes they might even have a passcode, a password. That's what I mean when I say passcode, a password for different, uh, for different times that the movie will be playing or for different cinemas. So it, it keeps the movie safe. It keeps, uh, it stops people from pirating the movie. And they obviously also, um, contains all the files you need to play your movie in cinemas. Because um, in cinemas, you in the DCP, basically what's in there is the video file and the audio file. So the video file is uh, like a MOV um, and a whole bunch of other technical stuff that I won't get into, but it also has a stereo 5.1 mix. So how I can explain a stereo 5.1 mix is, um, you know, if you're watching a movie and then you hear, hear an explosion behind you, that's a surround sound 5.1 mix. So basically, this is basically where you would take your project to an audio guy who mix it so that the sounds come from different places and different speakers. So this is what a DCP has. It has the video file and the 5.1 mix. Um, and the cost of making a DCP is around 8 to 35K. And to the cost of making a 5.1 surround sound mix is from 200K to around 350K. Depends on the project. This is something that I did when I was doing research and putting together a budget for a film project. I'm just dropping the numbers because um, people never really like to share the cost of things, how much they cost. And you know, let me just share it. And so that you guys know how much it costs and what it entails to put out a movie in cinemas. Okay. so. Another surprising fact that I learned about distributing a film in South African cinemas is that if your movie, the budget is one million, you will need to make three million at the box office in order to break even. It sounds really scary, but let me explain. Okay, so obviously to break even, what break even means is to make the same amount of money that you put in. So. If you are a film producer and you made a movie for 1 million and it makes 3 million, you're gonna get 1 million back because of something called a distribution waterfall. When you release a movie at cinemas, um, you have a deal. Basically, you work with a film distributor and a film exhibitor. So a film distributor is a middleman. They connect you with the exhibitor, which is the cinema chain. And the cinema chain gets to get 45% of all the ticket sales. And then a distributor gets to take 20% of all the ticket sales and they both get paid first. So whatever the movie makes, it doesn't matter if it makes a hundred million or whatever it makes, but the people that are going to get paid first from that money 
is a distributor and they're going to get 45 percent of that money and then after that a distributor will get 25 percent of that money then after that you will get paid um so it's just i know it's a very technical thing but i just want you to know that that's why i was saying if you make one million a movie for one million and you make three million, you only get one million back because of how the money is broken down. So basically, an example is they say, yeah, you make three million, one one point three, which is forty five percent, will go to the exhibitor, six hundred k will go to the to 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 the distributor, and like a million will go to you. So it's a really tricky thing, but. It just shows you what the industry is like. And obviously it's not just here in SA only, it's multiple countries. I mean, distributors do take a big part, ch a chunk of the money that a movie generates. Uh, exhibitors also take a big chunk of the money and they get paid first. So it's really, really hard to make money from a distributor your film at cinemas. You really need to make a lot of money in order for it to be significant. Um, I mean, I'm not doing this so I can bash exhibitors and distributors. I mean, they help the lifeblood of the film industry. But I want you to know it's something that I learned. And I was like, wow, fuck. I didn't know it cost this much. You know, um, it also just makes you know it. Snap, if you make a movie for three million, you have to make nine million to break even. So you, you understand, it's like the more budget, the higher your budget is, the more money you have to make at the box office in order to make money to break even or even make that money. So if you you get investment for like a million and then you don't make a million, it means you're going to owe your investors money. You're going to be in the red. You know, you're going to be in debt. So it's a tricky way of how the film industry works, but that's just how it works. It's not just here in SA, it's in multiple countries. Um, so obviously, if you don't want to distribute your film at cinemas, you can try host your own private screenings, sell DVDs and you know, be able to make that money back. So it's just something to think about in the business sense of the film business, because we can't be artists and be broke. You know, we need to think about business, how much things cost and how things are broken down. So, I mean, that's why I'm making this video and I hope you guys like this content and I hope you appreciate it. If you want me to talk, make more videos like this, please drop comments below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you don't like. Just drop comments because it helps my video uh, show, show show up to other people. It helps me with the uh, YouTube algorithm. Um, if you want me to make other videos, drop questions, drop suggestions, and I'll make more videos. This has been an episode of the Blade Podcast. I'm going to be making more episodes, more exciting episodes. Soon I'm going to be having guests. But for now, it's just going to be me, Lungi and Leah, just talking to you guys about different things in the film industry and bringing you hot content. And until next time, guys, peace out.